My retirement was based on the idea of getting away from Cambridge after 30 years of high tech. We were out for a walk about eight weeks after my retirement and came across a building which looked very interesting, very antiquated. When I investigated, I discovered that it was a smokehouse. Uh, it was an 18th century smokehouse, of which there were 88 in Lowestoft at one point, and this was pretty much one of the last ones that was available. So we acquired it. At that time, I couldn't find a decent kipper in Lowestoft and thought, I can fix that problem. My philosophy, my business concept was take a traditional product with all that entails, that is the quality, the variability, the artisan impact, and make it in a safe, secure, consistent way. And so to do that, we needed to go back to basics and start thinking about how we could use technology particularly to make this work efficiently. So the whole process really involves acquiring the best possible product. It is about the source, so we fill it the product and then we go through a brining or curing process. We then smoke it as quickly as we possibly can. So we rack it up and we put it into either a hot smoking kiln or one of the traditional cold smoking kilns. After the smoking process is completed, we chill it as fast as we can. The product is then brought into the packing factory and it's packed immediately. And then we distribute that product across the country. Um, one of our largest customers is Billingsgate Fish Market and they take a lot of mackerel and they take a lot of kippers from us each week. So we've been doing this now seven years and the proof of the pudding, if you like, is in the kippering. Well, we sell thousands of kippers a week. We sell tons of mackerel a week and we sell an awful lot of smoked salmon. So we are not a machine processing company. We are an organization that uses traditional techniques. So we are small batch production. We are using very high quality traditional methods um, and the flavor is completely derived from the sawdust that we use and the environment in which we use to smoke the product. So the kiln itself, the cold smoking kiln, is 200 years old. It is lined with the, the flavor of a million mackerel and it is astounding in terms of the quality of the product that it generates. The future is extremely interesting and exciting. There's no doubt in my mind that if we take traditional techniques and we wrap them up in a modern uh, technology environment, that we can grow this market. We, we constantly get inquiries from all over the country, um, which is encouraging.